So when I became a Christian in my hometown, I started there to reach out the gypsy community in that village. And doing that, I received my calling to be a pastor, to be a minister. Actually, my first experience with the gypsies it started right when I, when I became a Christian. So I started to work with the gypsies now about 10, 11 years. The need is so big. The poverty is, is so much, you know. There are some very desperate situations, spiritually, financially, economically, socially. We don't have enough people to help as much as is needed to help. For me, the other big challenge is to see all that very desperate children who has no food, you know, no, no place to stay. That's just break my heart. And I, I really need to feel that, that we, we need to do something. I, I need to meet those needs, you know. But sometimes I cannot, I cannot. Of course, I, I do what we can, but that's very challenging for me when, when, when I see children starving, I see them, you know, in a difficult situation and cannot do anything, you know, because I'm very limited. My main goal is have more and more gypsies saved and changed to become a Christian and became a disciple of God. So that's my main goal, you know. That's how I started to do church planting among them. And I always thought, you know, I will do like a church where we worship God, where we have children meeting, women's meeting, every kind of meeting. But very early I realized that that's not enough just to go and preach about the love of God, about how God is good. Because children are not educated, you know, they have no food to eat, they have no clothes to wear when it's very cold. My goal next to preach the gospel and have more and more gypsies saved to help them to come out from this hard situation by uh, helping them with education, with advice and all kind of things what we are trying to do. So the orphanage is a uh, all dreams and I am so happy that I see that uh, become a reality now. So working uh, with the gypsies and being in their community, I saw several cases where the gypsies are living without parents. There were several cases when some little children came and asked, can I go and stay with you? Can you bring me home? I most of the time had to say no because if I am bringing them home, then I cannot do the church planting, the, all the things what I am doing now. So since a long time I had a dream, it, it will be so good to have a place where I can bring these abandoned children, orphan children, and help them to raise them up, you know. I am so glad that now we started to build that, build that home. We were able to buy this property and with different people and churches helped me to come so far. Working with the Gypsy, we started uh, different kind of activities. We have educational activities, like we have kindergarten now in the Gypsy village, we have after school program in the Gypsy village, uh, we have mentoring program uh, with the high school gypsy kids to stay them in the school. We have adults education program and now the orphanage. Actually, all what we did so far, we, we could do just with the help and with the sponsorship with individuals or church and anything. But since a while I'm thinking how we can be a, a little bit self-sustaining or at least a part to provide some income and everything because it's harder and harder to get support. So this is the first step what we try to do. So next to, uh, in behind the orphanage, uh, with the help of the people like you and your church, we were able to uh, build polytunnels or warm house. And then, then we will build a barn where animals will stay and storage place will be and 
put the food for the animals. This and the project what we will build in, in the farm will help us give some work for the gypsies and grow some food what the kids can eat. And also we want to generate so much uh, vegetables that we were able to sell some and have some income and with those income to sustain our work and our programs what we are going on. With the gypsies who we are working in, because they are in so much poverty, most of them, they cannot actually provide for themselves anything, you know, to live or build. So without help like you are providing or, or your church providing, this would be impossible. This would be totally impossible. So I, I am really thankful for God's first that God is having people everywhere and He is making connection between us and this way through you is providing. So it's a it's a very very good thing that you come and, and you pro provide with the materials and also you came and sacrificed to work for us. First of all please pray for us regularly and if you feel as a church or if you have opportunity to have uh, occasional or regular support to sustain the work what we are doing that will be very very useful or this kind of groups who is coming to do a building project or not just building project but like children ministry youth ministry women's ministry or any kind of ministry that will be very, very helpful. Because as I told you, we have a very big need of workers. Without help like you are doing, we could realize nothing.